head of social media marketing and marketing and advertising was really booming at that time. And it was, it was kind of pay to play, put as much money as you can into it, get the biggest reach, throw stuff out there, be in front of people, do the noise, do all of that. And you win. And it's a lie. Uh, that's not how it, this is not how it works. Um, Thank you. Thank you for saying that that's somewhat of a lie because I feel like, um, People feel like if they just throw money at it and they boost every single post that gets a little bit of reaction or engagement, that that is going to help them grow their business and their sales. And it's, that's just like the tiniest little piece of the puzzle. It is, it is, it, it it is a piece of the puzzle. So it's important that people are engaging, that you're boosting, that your, your reach is good. It is a small portion of that. And if you dump, you dump, you know, for me, the last quarter, I spent $15,000 in, in marketing in the last quarter uh, for my business. It, it was my last 15000 at the time. <laughs> so that was all I had. But I kept, all I kept hearing was, you just need more reach. You just need more people. You just need this and followers and all of this stuff. And I think even from then, which was years ago to now, it's only gotten worse. I think that it's a lot harder even than it was then to hear the message that you and I are saying is, is there is strategy involved in this. There is good content involved in this. There is planning and execution. And it's not just about throw. Uh, when we talked last time, I told you, I coined this word blurbage out, throwing this blurbage out that, that you're just posting and make sure you post, you know, 10 times on Twitter and three times on Instagram and you know, all of these things. And then you'll have, the cushy life that you're looking for and your business will boom and everything will be great. And that's not true. And so 